Hello and welcome back to On Point HQ and another bit of an update into my um, foray into late war German kit bashing. Uh, in the previous video, I mentioned that I'm nearing the end of, of this of this project, and one of the uh, the sections that I was going to be working on was a kit bashed uh, Luftwaffe uh, field division section. Um, again, War Games do an excellent metal box of these guys but I'm, I'm trying to put everything I have in plastic for this for this project and this is no exception um so who were the Luftwaffe field division well essentially they were they were Luftwaffe ground crew um as the the the, the war progressed and the need for more bodies um was required they were pressed into sort of more uh, infantry based roles um uh, and, and that type of operation um, by the end of the war they'd been largely um, you couldn't differentiate between them and regular um, grenadier or here um, regiments or divisions um, they more or less looked the same they were the they had slightly different equipment um, that they were issued with a, um, a camouflaged uh, jacket uh, and was reversible I believe um, but that, that's just a very, very brief background uh, about them. Uh, in games of bolt action, uh, how do they perform? Uh, not very well. Um, I think off the top of my head, they, they're inexperienced. Um, but this goes goes well with the with the, the ethos I'm trying to, to uh, put together um, for, my, for my late war German project. Um, eventually, I want to be able to field a, or have a game of bolt action where I field nothing but uh, Austroop and Volksgrenadier and Luftwaffe field division troops and just watch the carnage unfold as they refuse to do anything I ask them to do and they are gunned down in their droves um, but ah, looking forward to it um, so as with, with the other, my other previous um, kit bashing these were comprised of lots of different kits uh, across the Warlord games range in fact on the screen now is a, uh, a composition of the, the four boxes that we used um, to build these so we've got the Falschmjäger, SS, uh, Blitzkrieg and um, Grenadier uh, bits and pieces from all these kits we used in creating this section of 10 um, for the bodies I went for um, the Blitzkrieg um, bodies and also the um, the bodies from the Grenadier box that were uh, um, clad in Zeltbahn as this makes them kind of look like uh, Luftwaffe Field Division troops from, from, from three, four, five feet away. That's what I mean before anyway. Um, and again, it was just throwing in a, a different colour scheme in there as well. So on the screen now should be um, some pictures of what the finished section looks like. Um, as you'll see, they, I went for the, um, the Luftwaffe um, blue uniform as a scheme. Technically, this is incorrect for the period that I'm gaming in, but I don't care. <laughs> that sounds pretty brutal, but I don't care. They're painted blue, so they stand out on the tabletop, uh, and that's good enough for me. Um, it's from, Again, I've mentioned this before, I, I just like playing bolt action. Um, while I do aim for some historical, ac historical accuracy where I can, I am open to a bit of artistic license so to speak and this is no exception uh, yeah this is like well these guys are meant to be in field grey uh, but they're not uh, but this is mainly for them to stand out on the table and this is what I want that rant aside if you could call it a rant um, as you see they're, they're largely equipped with rifles now these came f um, from from all the, all the kits so the, the Blitzkrieg, Waffen SS, Grenadier and um, Falschmjäger with the Falschmjäger ones it was just a case of um, snipping the little buttons off the cuffs like I did with the um, SS LMG conversions if you've seen that video um, and they, they actually go together really well the, the the diversity of the kits is fantastic the only the only real problem I had um, was attaching the um, the Falschmjäger arms to the Blitzkrieg bodies there was there's a slight they're, they're, the Blitzkrieg models are slightly older than the Falschmjäger bodies uh, and as such um, they're slightly out of not sync but the the, the blitzkrieg arms were, were slightly smaller in width to the falschmjäger one so there were some slight gaps but i was mightily impressed with my rather rudimentary uh, and basic green stuff application um, and you can't actually see any joins so i'm rather chuffed about that 
Um, but yeah, completed section uh, again with, with my normal my normal painting regime. These were all done in um, two sessions. Uh, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm at a point now where I can comfortably batch paint ten figures or a section in in, in a day or spread two sessions and spread over a couple of days, um, and it works. I'm, I'm really quite quite chuffed with the results. This also gave me a break from painting field grey, which is what I feel like I've been painting for the past 12 months or so. So <laughs> it would give me another, it, it was an excuse to paint a different colour rather than field grey. Um, but no, I'm happy with how these turned out. Again, gone for real simple basing on them uh, to keep them in line with the rest of the army. Um, I'm also quite chuffed with the um, the camouflage and the Zeltbarn. Normally I am absolutely crap <laughs> at painting camouflage on anything. Uh, which is why I try and avoid it. Yeah, it's kind of my, my Achilles heel. But with these, no, I'm rather chuffed with how they turned out. Um, they are done. They'll be put away ready for their blooding, whenever that will be. Um, but that is one complete section um, finished. What's up next? So I've only got, section-wise, I've got that uh, that veteran um, Falschmiega um, section that I, I kit-bashed. A couple of weeks back they will be next for some painting um, and I've also working on this I've not touched this yet because this will be uh, the subject of a video that I'm going to try and start either tomorrow or Friday and what I'm going to do is just paint this in different in, in the set the way that I do it in different sections uh, and just show you in real time how I do it uh, it won't be a full-on painting video because um, I find them a bit dull. Um, I'd rather do it in sections, um, but I will be doing that. And it's just going to show you that the process that I use to get these guys finished. And it's again, it's just all about following the same process with each and every section. And I'm comfortable in doing these and getting them to the standard that I like. Uh, once that's done, I think I'll start the Panther and I've got one last uh, Hannah Mag to complete and then I'm calling it quits for now. Um, hopefully say in the next, next couple of weeks 10 days it will all be completed I'm gonna do another video on the entire project in its entirety uh, just to show you where I'm up to um, when it's finished off the top of my head I think I'm up to about it's got to be coming at between four and five thousand points worth of um, <laughs> worth of late war Germans um, which is probably a good sign to stop and move on to something different but I digress anyway that's my completed Luffa Havel division. Um, I hope you enjoyed the very brief update. If you've got any questions or comments, just pop them down below and I'll certainly respond to all comments and questions. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching. Uh, take care, may your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.